Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprites, welkom bij een gloednieuwe aflevering van Professor Leven, of eigenlijk Lady Leven. Leven's Mystery Journey. De vorige aflevering waren we hier op de werf gekomen, omdat, uh, zoals jullie net in beeld zagen, een truck hier naartoe is gereden, waar misschien wel de kat is die we zoeken. Arr, what a grand waste of time! Oh, has there been some kind of incident here? Oh no, I wouldn't be calling it an incident now. All that happened was... Uh, I was after loading everything onto a ship back um, there when a snowy white cat jumped out of uh, at me from the hold. A, a snowy white cat? Arr, that's what I said. Jumped out like a tiger. Wat een vuile bitta. What happened to the cat that jumped out at you? I'm blessed if I know. Um, the daft thing um, bottled off at a fair old speed. So I did. Okay. Paul, what a pong! You certainly know that uh, this fin is used for, wouldn't uh, you? <laughs> it's a dark and dingy, cramped, uh, cramped and fishy. It's like being inside the belly of an enormous whale or something. Lunhole. Rex, Rex, if you're here, come out now. It's a busy place, this wharf, isn't it? Look at that boat, it's just about to leave now. What you'd suppose that's carrying? Bananas, I think. Probably imported from overseas and uh, now being delivered to somewhere else along the river. Um, I do like rivers and boats. I love to jump on uh, on one now and sail away. Oh well, miss, if you will, I will. Uh, leaving a dog in charge of the business? Good thinking, team. Good thinking. I'm sure you could handle things, Cheryl. Well, obviously I could. In fact, the shill, <laughs> the shill comes. Uh, detective co uh, consultancy. It almost sounds believable. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, what's that? It's a dog barking, isn't it? Can you understand what it's saying, Cheryl? It it caught me off guard. I didn't catch what it said. Really? Even with those enormous ears of yours? That's right. Even my enormous doggy ears. Oh, well, if you didn't hear, I can't be helped. Maybe something is going on over there. Yes, you could be right. Let's go and investigate. <laughs> Loopy. Da, 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 da. Ah, we've met before, I think, haven't we? Or haven't we? Huh? Oh, maybe not. Actually, or maybe? Yes, we have met. On the last day at the Riverside Festival, it was. Hmm, the Riverside Festival. Now you mention it, I think uh, there might have been a festival going on by that name. Yes, but... What is it for a mangle? Uh, I'm sure we will. Don't worry. I mean, I can barely remember what I had for dinner last night. So, what are you all doing down here by the river? Actually, we're looking for a missing cat. Have you seen a white cat around this part recently? Yes, I've seen it, alright? Really? Oh, hooray! You found Rex at least. Well, hopefully. Look, it's just over there now. Oh, wait a minute, where did it go? Hmm, you're not talking about... That's actually a dog, Mr. Fisher. Hmm, now you mention it. I'm not sure it was a cat I saw. Perhaps it was a catfish? Or was it a dog? Uh, it looks like we're no closer to finding Rex after all. Yo. Kijk, and hint munch in. <laughs> Make no mistake, I'm not scratching my head over a puzzle. Never. 
If you like what the solve is for you, please uh, come straight out uh, with it and, uh, and ask for help. Huh, solve it for me? Never! But if you're interested in trying for your own amusement, then be my guest. Wat een lul. Lulling. Zoals ze anders zou zeggen. Hem in de hamsters. Oké. Okay. Um, here we have 11 hamsters. If they're all left together, uh, when their cage is being cleaned, they start to fight with each other. Whoa. Uh, so they need to be separated into their own individual spaces using just three enclosures. Okay. Slide the enclosures to move them and place them so that all hamsters are contained. Oké, okay, ik denk dat we daar weer even de lower screen voor moeten pakken. Ze moeten allemaal op zichzelf geënclosed zijn. Dit was echt heel simpel. <laughs> Dit was echt heel simpel. Oké, okay, thanks. Hey Yuki. Ik heb ook een hamster. They're all done. Are you happy now? <laughs> so that's the answer at last. Ahem. At last you've managed to do it. Well done. Wat een bitta. Oeh, een doggo. Excuse me, have you got a minute? What's happening, hunt? Uh, you look like uh, you've uh, missed any meals lately. Yeah, I get fat. Thanks for the concern. Actually, me and my friends here are looking for a cat. Have you seen any around? This place is crawling with cats, hunt. Um... I've bumped into more than I can count just today even. Uh, but if you're looking for a fatty of poos that's uh, wide all over, well, maybe I can help you out. Yes, that's exactly what the cat were looking for. Really? Lucky, huh? Well, hound, um, that white cat just went shooting away from the wharf like a cat out of hell. Haha. <laughs> uh, where did it go? Where did it run to? Chill, hound, chill. It hasn't gone far, but it's in a tricky kind of place. A tricky place? What kind of place? See that huge bridge over there? The cat you're looking for bottled out of the wharf and straight up to the top of that. Did it? What did it go? Uh, wh what did it go all the way up there for? Well, now, hound, that would be because of me. That's all. What's all the yapping about uh, before? I prefer to call it barking, not yapping. You see, when it bottled uh, off the wharf, it woke me up. Uh, I was having a sweet dream, hound. A sweet dream. Oké, okay, nu weet ik wel wat. Uh, hoe wat. Well, never mind. Ik doe het even nou. Wat een gauwe hoer van die honden. Ah! Is everything alright, Cheryl? Yep, I don't know what that dog's name was, but I'm calling him Bingo. He says um, he saw a fat white cat. Really? That's wonderful. Does it know where it went? Apparently it climbed to the top of the tower on the bridge over there. I suggest we go and fetch it down. The Tower Bridge. Da. Daar ben ik geweest in het echt. Relatief accuraat, relatief accuraat. Behalve dat er helemaal geen mensen zijn. <laughs> cat! Up here! Cat! Um, how did we get... Uh, how did it get uh, itself all the way up there? Good gracious, we must help it down at once. What if it fell? Alright everyone, let's just move really, really slowly so we don't get scared. Uh, don't scare it. Oh, there is he. 
There is the kitty cat. On top of the morning, y'all. Oh, there's a loser boy. It makes it like me. Debbie the lovey dovey is here. Everyone else in London seems to be doing that. Um, so we thought we have to go at the puzzle too. But it's so hard. Yes, it's so hard. Can you solve it for us, please? Sure. That's gonna be. Running on empty. The bus only has three liters uh, of fuel left. It's going to run out before it reaches its destination. There are 10 people on the bus at the moment and it can travel 5 miles on 1 liter. Okay. Um, for each person that gets off the bus, it can travel 1 mile further. Okay. If all the people get off the bus and 2 liters uh, and two liters of fuel has been added, how many more miles can the bus travel? Null, want dan is er ook geen uh, buschauffeur meer. Mm, this should do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. Note to iedereen, als je ooit een uh, uh, puzzel krijgt over een bus, want die zijn er heel veel, of uh, raadsels of zo. De buschauffeur is altijd de key uh, voor alle buspuzzels, of alle bus uh, riddles, dus dan weten jullie dat. Oh, deze was weer too easy. Of ik ben gewoon een smarty pants. Ik denk dat dat het is. Ik ben gewoon een smarty pants. Dat is... Is dat de goede kat? How do we get a cat down... Uh, all, from all the way up there? Don't worry, Cheryl. There's a simple way to recover things from higher places. Oh, nog een puzzel. Stair blocks. Stack all of the boxes to make a stairway uh, with no gaps. Ooh, with no gaps. Uh, from the start point at the bottom left to the top of the cliff on the right. Okay. It's is fair om daarmee te beginnen, denk ik. Nee. Geen gaps, toch? Maar zou je helemaal linksonder moeten beginnen? Want volgens mij hebben we dan gewoon niet genoeg blokjes, toch? Dus ik denk dat dat dan niet per se hoeft.
Oh, wacht. Dat hoeft natuurlijk niet dat het een rechte lijn is, zeg maar. Dus dit mag ook, als het goed is. Even denken hoor. Deze goed moeten zijn, toch? Wacht, volgens mij klikte ik een ongeluk weg. Volgens mij klikte ik een... Uh, hier zie je. Ik klikte er een weg. Echt niet eerlijk. Ik hoop dat hij hem wel laat staan zoals ik hem had. Zie je. Als hij nu goed is, ben ik echt gescand. Zie, ik ben echt gescamd. We hebben een cat. Come on then, let's get it back to the owner as quick as possible. Nou, dat doen we wel. Oh. Um, gosh, hello there, Miss Tate. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the mayor's secretary from Guldal. Fancy bumping into you again. Thank you for, um, well, for rescuing my cat. I beg your pardon? Did you say this is your cat? It, it isn't Rex. Yes, um, well, no. I mean, this is cat. Um, well, uh, I can say that it's a cat, yes? No, I mean, um, it's my cat. I just call her cat. Ridiculous name. Oh dear, I hope I haven't um, upset your dog. No, don't worry, he's just uh, admiring the name. <laughs> Lol. So, uh, this cat is your pet, Miss Tate? Uh, yes, I'm definitely, uh, definitely. I mean, well, she is a red um, ribbon and a red color, so it, I'm quite um, sure. Well, that would explain what she's doing on the banana boat. Uh, so we've got it. Uh, we've got the wrong cat. Well, we still re rescued it from danger, didn't we? Gosh, we've been uh, chasing uh, the wrong cat all this time. I don't believe it. I was sure we had the right animal. The right animal. Where did uh? Where did we slip up, I wonder? Well, all we can do uh, now is keep wandering around the uh, city and look for more cats. Great. Hmm, more cats, more cats. The worst part is, I thought we actually uh, cracked the case. Uh, it's a real blow for Ace and Churl. I hate to admit it, cat, but I think you're right. Well, aha, uh -huh, perhaps. Ik denk dat het klikt. En ik denk dat het bij mij ook heeft geklikt. Case complete. Dat is fijn. Ah. Uh, is that your uh, head working or your gut? I think we almost worked out where it went wrong. 
What do you mean, miss? For a while now I've had a feeling there's something fundamentally wrong with our investigation. You had a feeling? So it's your gut then. As I said, Cheryl, I prefer to call it miraculous instinct. Lol. If only we were looking for a dog, I could probably have tracked him down. A dog? Ah, that's an interesting point, Cheryl. Madame Dublay never actually said that Rex was a cat, did she? We just assumed that because of all the cat decorations and toys at her residence. You're right! How could we have been so stupid? And with a name like that, of course Rex isn't a cat. Rex... Iguana! A Iguana? I thought it was strange for someone who loves cats so much not to have any cat food in the house. But the nibbled plants, the teeth marks on the fruit. Yes, it's all unmistakably iguana -y. But she loves cats, doesn't she? She had all those cat decorations and things as a way of controlling Rex. To stop him finding his way into parts of the house she didn't want him in. In other words, she was using the fact that iguanas dislike cats to contain him without having to resort to a cage. Oh, I'm starting to think I might like iguanas. Although, now I'm even more stumped. An iguana could be hiding anywhere. On the contrary, if Rex is an iguana, there's only one place he can be. There! We know he loves bananas. There were banana skins all over Madame Dublay's home. So, Rex is on that boat. I'm 60% certain of it. 60%? Does that qualify as certain? Not really. Oh, great. I don't understand. I thought the white cat in the picture was Rex. Oh, goodness me, no. Look, Rex's picture is there, underneath that big ugly cat. Ah. Well, why did you run away, you bad, bad boy? I think he had good reason, don't you? I beg your pardon, young lady. Don't you think he ran away because of all the feline trimmings around here? He can't stand cats. It's hardly surprising that he wanted to escape. Oh, but that's because I can't stand the idea of locking my precious Wexy Wexy in a cage. His family, you know, you don't cage family. That would be cruel. Don't you think it's even more cruel to deliberately surround someone with things they detest? Well, when you put it like that, I suppose. If you really love your pet as much as you say you do, you should swap all these cat knickknacks for iguana goods. <gasps> what a suggestion! Cake. Lots of lots of iguana goods. According to this letter from Madame Dublay, she's seen a great improvement in Rex's behavior since installing all the iguana decor. He's stopped soiling the furniture, and she no longer needs to confine him to particular parts of the house. What an amazing turnaround. When an owner treats her pet right, great things happen. Isn't that right, Cat? <laughs> no, Shell, it's not. Iguanas are just very territorial animals. With all the cat pictures and ornaments changed to iguana ones, Rex feels the house is his patch now, that his territory is established. 
So that's the reason. Oh, Miss Layton, brilliant as always. Oh, please. <laughs> So Rex was returned to his home and Madame Dublay learned to care for her pet in a less oppressive way. Um, While well for me and the latent detective agency, the successful resolution of the case led to all sorts of new inquiries. I say look at this miss! Since Madame Dublay told all our rich friends about how wonderful you are, I've had a number of new inquiries. I'll pop all the details up on here uh, on the notice board, uh, so you can choose which you're going to tackle next. Well, it doesn't look like be taking a holiday anytime soon, does it? Yeah, believe it or not, cat, some people do actually have to work for a living. Whoa. En dan wil ik jullie bedanken voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe het duimpje omhoog. Zie ik graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.